Ben Smith here for InsideTrackNews.com. Post race at Barry Speedway with our runner up in Thundercar competition. It is Kid Ruckus, Ryan Semple. Hell of a run tonight for car number 64. And when you, we, all things considered, that uh, you had that car pretty hard into the inside retaining wall early on in the afternoon, it, uh, it worked like a dream in the feature. Yeah, you know what? We, we, we hit the hard the wall a ton. Bent up everything in the front end, tried to straighten it as best we could. I gotta thank Frank a lot for all his help the last couple of weeks. I couldn't get this car to turn without him. What was the damage? What was the laundry list of, uh, of stuff that needed to be worked on after that uh, after the qualifying heat race incident? A lot of just bending bars back, center link tie rod ends, it's just the basic front end stuff. Now, 30 lap feature here. You were able to roll the outside uh, just about uh, better than anybody else here. I mean, the outside of Barry on, on a good night is like having a job in these uh, in these undercars, and you made it look pretty easy. You nailed the restarts, and I think that was really a, a big uh, a big portion of what kept this number 64 car at the front. Yeah, you know what? This is the best car I've ever driven. Like, yeah, I fought with this car day in and day out for the last two, three years. This is by far the best thing I've ever I, I've driven in years. So. I'm really happy for that. I know it's been a process since you sort of migrated over to, to full-time Barry competition. It's, it's been a, a process getting this car up to snuff. What was the turning point that really sort of got this car where you needed to be the last couple of weeks? You know what? We found a huge problem with the sway bar. There's a big bind in the sway bar, so we, we fixed that up about two weeks ago, or last Saturday. And we worked with it, and now we just got to do fine-tuning, and uh, hopefully we'll be up front in victory lane soon. Now, you started your career at Sunset, moved over to Barrie. When you compare and contrast the two tracks, how different is Barrie Speedway? It's totally different. I thought I was going to come up here. It was going to be a walk in the park. I was absolutely wrong. This, this track is its own little demon. It it's, uh, takes a long time and a lot of work, but uh, I'm having a great time here. I mean, what's, what's the key to victory here? What's the, what, what do you need to do to get your car to the front end uh, and really get it to work here? You know what? Just trying to stay out of all the mess, you know? Trying to keep your car good, save some stuff for the end, and uh, you know, just drive clean. Thank the folks that, uh, that make all this possible for you. You know what? I gotta thank Canada Door Systems out of Alliston. I gotta thank Krabby Joe's Alliston, um, CW Coops in Alcona, uh, Auto Trim for doing that, that great deco package. It's <laughs> and uh, that'll be it. There you okay. go, folks. Come, and come up to Barry Speedway and see this dude go to work because he, he put on a show here tonight. Runner-up finish. He's, he's, he's getting close to victory lane. Ryan, all the best, my friend, and, uh, and congrats on tonight, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks a lot, Spencer. Kid Rock, it's Ryan Seppel here.